What's up mga kapeng? Kumusta po kayo? So anyway, on this video, we will talk about the NOC. Ano ba yung NOC na gagamitin ko when applying here in Canada? That's our today's discussion and if you're ready, please click the subscribe button and like this video and of course, share this video because sharing is caring. So anyway, we have a question from our cups. AI Mart. Sabi niya, Hello sir, ask ko lang po kahit hindi tayo nurse dyan sa Canada, still ang NOC pa rin po ba natin is 3012? And another question, sabi niya, Hello po, ano pong NOC ng nurse pag mag-a-apply po ng AIPP? Thank you po and more power. So that's our today's discussion. Ano nga ba ang NOC? And ano din gagamitin natin when we are applying for a job? here in Canada considering we cannot practice our nursing profession uh, even you have a years of experience hindi tayo makakapag-practice an RN dito because it's a regulated profession you need to be a uh, licensed you need to be a registered first before you practice as a nurse so it's a good question ano, ma ano nga ba ang NOC ng gagamitin ko when I am applying 3012 ba? as a nurse or 4412 or home support worker or yung sa caregiver ba when you're applying po mga kap always remember this your NOC the purpose of the NOC is to define to classify your work experience okay so the purpose of the NOC is to classify to define kung ano talaga yung yung work experience sa Pilipinas or sa ibang bansa that's the purpose so the purpose of the NOC is like this if I am an immigration officer nakita ko ang application mo okay this is Joey and then our work experience niya is NOC 3012 since it's a code alam na ng immigration officer kung ano yung NOC code mo yung 3012 at alam niya na din kung ano ang work experience mo based from the 3012 so that's the purpose now po mga ka when you are applying hindi po dapat nagbabago ang NOC mo dahil NOC code mo ay base sa experience mo so if you're a nurse in the Philippines your NOC is 3012 but when you apply for CCA or continuing care assistance hindi po magbabago yung experience mo. Kasi yung application mo and your work experience mo is NOC 3012. So even though you cannot practice an RN, even though you cannot practice as a nurse kasi hindi ka pa registered, your NOC is will be the same as an RN. Kasi work experience pinag-uusapan. Ano yung trabaho mo before? Ano yung work experience mo when you are applying? Di ba nakalagay, what is your work experience in the last 10 years? What is your work experience in the last 3 years? So pinag-uusapan dito is yung work experience mo. So kung pinag-uusapan yung work experience mo 10 years ago or in the last 10 years or three year, in the last 3 years, then your NOC is 3012. So when you are applying for NOC, uh, if you are applying for an AIPP, let's say a caregiver, let's say a CCR continuing care assistant, or personal health care worker, or work, a home support worker, then your NOC will be the same, NOC 3012. But again, they already know that you are an RN because you are 3012. So the, 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 the answer to that question is, your NOC will not change because the purpose of the NOC is to classify your work experience. Hindi po sinasabi na yung ina-up, mag-a-adjust yung NOC mo sa ina applyan mo. Even though you, RN is a regulated, even RN is a regulated, yung NOC mo is still 3012. Even po ang ina-applyan mo is a continuing care assistance, your NOC will be 3012. Another example po mga ka is based from my experience. I came here as a provincial nominee. My NOC is NOC 3012. That's a registered nurse. 
when I came here, nabigyan po ako na pagkakataon to be a provincially provincial nominated. So I came here as a permanent resident under Nova Scotia Provincial Nominee under NOC 312. Pag-apply ko po ng trabaho dito, hindi po ako automatic RN. Anyway, pagpunta ko sa mga nursing home and pagpunta ko sa mga agency, they didn't ask me about my NOC. They, I applied for the job position of uh, continuing care assistance. They didn't ask me of what is my NOC. So, hindi po mag-a-adjust yung NOC mo sa ina-applyan mo. Hindi mag-a-adjust yung NOC kung ano yung job offer na nakapaligid sa'yo. Your NOC will always define your work experience. Thank you very much, AI Marks, for that question. It is an interesting topic kasi common questions itong itinatanong dito sa ating community Canada. But anyway, mga kap, if you have more questions about immigration or you have a Canadian dreams but you don't know where to start, then you are in the right platform. Join us every Saturday, 11 p.m. Uh, Halifax time, 11 a.m. Manila time. We have a Q&A live streaming. Kasama po ang ating licensed immigration consultant ng Cap Unity Canada. And of course, mga Cap, we have also a free webinar every Monday, 11 p.m. Halifax time. That will be Tuesday, 11 a.m. I'll put the link on the description below. Join us, mga Cap, and you will learn a lot of information about immigration. Sabi nga po natin, knowledge is power. We, um, our objective or our advocacy sa Cup Unity Canada, so when in Halifax, is to ed educate you, share a valid information for you. That's why mga Cup, I encourage you to join us in our webinar, join us in the Q&A, and subscribe to our channel when in Halifax. Thank you mga cops and see you in our next video. Thank you cops. Bye.